scientists say that water is the soup of life. A miraculous liquid. The elixir of eternal life. And with good reason. Since the beginning, billions of years ago, life on the planet has been closely intertwined with water. A single drop of water holds all the secrets to life on Earth. Seventy percent of the Earth's surface is water. And curiously enough, seventy percent of mammalian bodies is water. This may be no more than a coincidence, but humanity and the planet are dominated by this mysterious liquid. Whether large or small, water is the main component of all creatures. There are creatures whose body is even more watery than our own. Fungi, for instance, are 80% water. Marine algae contain up to 98% water. Basically, water is life. Seventy, eighty, ninety-eight percent. These statistics are very eloquent. But why is water so important for life? What makes it so vital? The answer is both simple and complex. Living creatures need water for the body to carry out its basic functions. The chemical reactions of our bodies, such as digestion, always occur in liquid, thanks to water. It penetrates all the cells and helps the transit and breakdown of our food. Water also helps us to move because it acts as a lubricant in the joints, the eyes, the eyelids, and all the bodily mechanisms 
that assure efficient, fluent movement. The dominant role of water in our lives seems to be unending. Waste from the body is eliminated in water. When we sweat, we use water to cool us down and regulate body temperature. And in order to breathe, the lungs of all animals must be moist. Amphibians are an interesting case because they also breathe through their skin, which is always moistened by water. Let's not forget cleaning. The universal solvent, water that is, is essential for keeping bodies in a hygienic state. Water is the force that gives shape to many creatures. Animals that live in seas or rivers have hydrodynamic bodies that allow them to slide around quickly. But water has another important role in our lives. It forms the environment in which we move. Not only are we water, we live surrounded to a greater or lesser extent by water, its actions or its consequences. Water erodes, knocks down, and shapes valleys, mountains, or coasts. Rivers, seas, ice, and storms are constantly chiseling away at the planet's surface, changing it gradually. All living creatures must adapt to its ways. The richest, most prolific ecosystems on the planet are also dominated by water.
The highest concentrations of birds flourish by the sea. Millions and millions of gulls, cormorants and gannets gather together and screech in places where the oceans are particularly rich in food. Cranes and other aquatic birds travel thousands of miles every year in search of welcoming waters that will allow them to feed during the winter months or rear their chicks. Their lives are one long quest for water. Although water is unique, it has many guises. Its presence, absence, or quantity determines landscapes and ecosystems. These worlds are different, but they are all worlds of water. Let's take a look at some of water's guises. There are mysterious waters that flow through the bowels of the earth. Unexplored worlds lie beneath our feet. Subterranean rivers, galleries, caves, and abysses, home to some of the strangest, most peculiar fauna. Water life will show us for the first time some of the creatures who have remained hidden deep underground, away from the glare of the outside world for hundreds of millions of years. Water is also the creator of another mysterious world, but this time, one full of life and color. 
These are the tropical rainforests, where biodiversity is at its richest. Water is the driving force behind this ecosystem, which is kept humid by clouds and storms. Gushing, dense rivers cut through virgin forests, sharing their water with an infinite variety of plants and animals. These muddy waters breathe life deep into the rainforest, nourishing some of the lushest, most remote woods on Earth. We have seen that water brings the multitudes flocking. The most abundant climates are always related to water. The soup of life is no misnomer then. are the best example of the creative force of the seas. A quarter of all marine organisms are found here. It is difficult to imagine such a vibrant display of shapes, colors, and means of survival anywhere else. But there's no need to travel to the reefs in order to discover this amazing world of diversity. In every pool, water creates an unlikely world.
Since the beginnings of life itself, water has been home to living creatures, with the smallest of them flocking inside it. Bacteria, protozoa, and an endless variety of creatures live on the Earth's surface. But water is at its most dominant in places where it almost never rains. In deserts, each living thing is a repository for water, a reserve of liquid which struggles constantly to avoid losing even a molecule of its precious nectar. Here, nature has produced plants and animals that are best able to make use of every single drop. Water, with its many guises, shapes the most varied ecosystems and conditions where there is life. There can be no doubt that it is the driving force of life. Every living being is water, and every landscape and ecosystem bears the hallmark of this ubiquitous liquid. From the watery eyes of a bird to the immense body of a whale, water forms part of all living beings and their senses, determining many types of behavior. All this is still to be discovered in water life.